Well, uh, we had played uh, in the Capitol Theater before it was the Capitol Center for the Arts, and the theater was a mess, and it had been a mess for a really long time. Uh, at the very beginning of the effort to transform the Capitol Theater into the Capitol Center for the Arts, um, I heard about a public meeting that was going on. There had been some preliminary work done. Uh, the meeting was um, at uh, Chubb Life. And so one summer night, I uh, put on my shorts and my sandals and uh, went up to an auditorium to see what was going on. And there was a report that had been created about what it would take to transform the theater into a performing arts center. And they asked for input from the audience after the report. And I was moved to get up and speak. And what I said was, this is really important. And if you look around Concord in terms of its development and what we are hoping for and what we want for uh, our city, this could be the heartbeat of Concord. This theater, this performing arts center could be the, the heartbeat that helps transform this city. Um, and apparently folks were moved by what I said and I am shortly after that who was approached by Martin Gross, who's no longer with us, and John Swope, who said, uh, we, we heard you, and uh, we think that you ought to be the person who leads this effort. And I was kind of taken aback. Um, and they said, we have led uh, so many community efforts here. Uh, it's time for new leadership. We think you're it. And I ultimately agreed to uh, help lead the effort on the condition that both Martin and John stay involved. Um, and so we met uh, over a period of six years. Um, first at the Charitable Foundation, which incubated the project. Uh, then uh, after we were able to buy the Kimball Mansion and the Kimball Mansion. And it took six years from uh, the beginning of the dream to the first phase of the opening.